person, but he writes of the power of the arts. And he reminds us that we are creative individuals because we were created by the great creator himself. And when you think about it, Karen, you go back and you study the history of the arts, which I love to do. The Christians were the leaders in this area. Leaders. And then we pulled back. We pulled back for some we reason. Got free. We got Thank free. you. That's exactly right. Fear killed everything. And then suddenly God just started moving in the hearts of Christians in the last few decades, saying, don't be afraid. Come back in. Let's be the force. Let's be on the forefront. Let's be the ones that are now pushing the envelope with beauty and truth and joy to art. And it's happening. Exactly. Karen, I was one night and had a meeting in Washington with a man who was the head of PBS. And he gave this wonderful presentation on the ways to get to know God. And one of the ways he said was through the aesthetics. Now, what that means is because of the arts, the expression, if the heavens declare his glory, if we could walk outside and we could see a change of the seasons, the death of winter, the resurrection of spring. So God tells us and tells us and tells us the fact that he gave us a sky that changes colors. He didn't have to. So his handiwork, his majesty, his creativity is everywhere. It really reminds us that the arts can be so vibrantly important in transmitting the gospel or starting as Francis Schaeffer said, that pre-evangelistic conversation with the culture. So why would we have to get we need to go in and influence even more than we've done before? I also have on the right hand side how to talk about Jesus without breaking out something here on this on the right door face. Check it out. I thank you for so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on In the Market with Janet Parker. You were made for more than this life has to offer. That's why you never feel quite satisfied. You were made for Jesus Christ and his glorious kingdom. Age of Clowns invites you to embrace eternity. Author Corey DeLeon shows you how the pulse of heaven can help you live a more purposeful life. Right now, Age of Clowns, because you were made for eternity. Follow at moviepublishers.com. Like a kid on long motion, practicing patience doesn't come natural, especially when the end isn't in sight. Thursday on Focal Point, Pastor Mike Lamaris helps us adopt the right mindset when it seems that God is slow in answering our prayers. We're starting to discern between our wants and genuine needs. Thursday on Focal Point, midday afternoons at 4.30 on Moody Radio Northwest.